concerned about the possibility of violence. The governor has even declared a state of emergency. CBS News correspondent Nicole Killian is there in Richmond and joins us now. Hi, Nicole. So tell us what the scene there is like. What's motivating these protesters? And is there any sign of the concerns that the state government had for the potential of violence? Oh, well, you know, at this point, the scene is pretty quiet here where we are. We're a few blocks away from the Capitol, but the rally, in effect, is over. So at this point, uh, folks are come through on the House side, though we expect that could happen sometime later this month. I will note uh, that certainly one of the measures uh, that has sparked uh, the greatest At the hospital, five others were wounded, no arrests have been made. Which has spread to at least three other Asian countries. New video sent to CBS News claims to show hospital staff wearing protective gear, and that is protective gear, in Wuhan, China, considered ground zero for the outbreak. Ramy Innocencio is there. Ramy, what are you hearing? Good morning, Gail. Yes, people here are understandably very nervous, especially after the number of infected exploded over the weekend. The airport here in Wuhan has also started to do body temperature checks of people before they take flight. Not only that, when we landed here in Wuhan earlier today, uh, we saw people, many of them wearing masks around the baggage carousel while we were waiting for our own bags. I took that video there and you can see and people are nervous about uh, uh, the situation. Not only that, taking a look at what's happening in the United States, U.S. officials want to make sure that they are raising the defenses, and that is what they are doing there, because right now, as of now, uh, there has not been a U.S. infection as of yet. At three airports across the United States, the CDC is on guard. More than 100 officials in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York are screening incoming passengers from Wuhan, China, to detect the deadly coronavirus. If it's uh, issues that are going to affect others, it's maybe good choices to, like, 
in caches about it. Since Friday, the number of known infections across Asia has more than quadrupled, with cases confirmed in China, Thailand, Japan, and now South Korea, which reported its first case this morning. Authorities say most of the cases link back to this now shuttered animal and seafood market in Wuhan. U.S. health officials are concerned this rapid spread could mimic the massive SARS outbreak of the early 2000s, which resulted in 774 deaths in 29 countries. But so far, it does not appear that this disease is easily transmittable between people. Health officials say this strain of the coronavirus has been spread to humans through exposure in handling of animals at the market. If the virus turns out to be readily transmissible from human to human, then we'll have a much larger problem on our hands. Dr. William Schaffner says public health authorities are already working on ways to fend off the epidemic. There are laboratories around the world already working on really good diagnostic tests, and we've already started to work on a vaccine in the event that's necessary. Now, I lived through the SARS epidemic in Beijing back in 2003, and at that time, there was massive criticism of the government, and that centered around transparency. The government at that time withheld a lot of information uh, from the public about that massively growing epidemic. Now, the, we're going to see if this is actually going to uh, be any lessons have been learned uh, looking ahead, because the future of the people of China, and not only of Asia, but of the world, could be at stake here. Anthony? Yeah, hopefully they'll be more forthcoming. Remy, thank you. In China, we appreciate it.